Hello everyone. Good morning and good evening. I welcome all of you to bfctraining.com. In this video, I am going to explain you how we can calculate the lowest or highest value in a range and we can present it by using a block chart. It is quite often useful for us to calculate the lowest or the highest value in a range. So there is a possibility that we can do the same thing by using AGGR function. To know more about AGGR function, you can go through my existing videos on AGGR function. But within a chart, we can also make use of the range function along with some of the chart enter record functions such as above below, before, after, first, last and so on. So in this session, we'll be going to calculate the highest and the lowest values in a range so that we can assign a relative color to them using the color mix one function. And to do this, I'm going to load the data first of all. So first of all, I'll switch to click view and within click view, I create a new click view application first so that's a new click view application i've already created saved it and named as a demo i'll save it then click on file and edit a script so we can open edit a script from here or we can use a shortcut key or we can click over here as well for edit a script so first of all i'm going to load the data so click on table files and we have got a sales superstore sample excel updated that's the updated record why it has got updated record because in this we have range year from 2012 to 2015. so i load this data open embedded labels click on finish save and reload so the data has been loaded successfully and now first of all i need to add the list boxes here which contains the years and the month but here we don't have a separate column we don't have a separate at field for year and for the month so therefore we need to create the calculated list boxes so i right click on the blank area on the sheet new sheet object list boxes and from here, I go for an expression, select an expression. So by using this expression, we can create our own expression. So I write here, I want to calculate the year. So I write here is equal to year order date. Because I just want to do the calculations on based on the order date. So this and click on OK. And here, year, because we are calculating the year. So you can see the year has been up here 2012 13 14 and 15 in similar way if you want to display months so again right click on the blank space new sheet object list boxes scroll down to expression and here i write is equal to month and order date click on ok and month so we have got months here now i'm just going to do few customization onto it so for ex customization for example first of all they are not in a sorted order in similar way month is also not in sorted order so right click on year properties click on sort and i sort it ascending based to numeric values instead of text numeric values 12 13 14 15 and also i want that if i expand it if i collapse it i want to arrange them in four different columns so again right click properties presentation instead of single column i change it to fixed number of columns four I apply okay and now as soon as i move it up you can see they will be arranged in four columns similar customization we can do on months because months of first of all they are not in sorted so i want to apply sorting on them so again sort text okay and again properties presentation single column and so we have 12 so i write here six and we can arrange them now next thing is we have to create a block chart 
and that block chart basically will represent the data from a range to from a lowest range to the highest value in a range so in order to do that I right click new sheet object chart and in chart I select block chart click on next my dimension will be region wise so I want to go for region so my, I select the dimension region I would like to display the range from lowest to highest range as respective to the region so I choose region as a dimension click on next expression will be sum of sales so here I provide sum of sales this will be the fact and click on ok and I'll give total sale finish one more thing I switch to caption region wise total sale so I change the caption so as you can see here all of them are coming in a different colors they are representing a different colors I would like to present them with same color but with different variant so in order to do that I again right click on region wise total sale properties expression and as you can see here that's the expression which we have created some of sales so I click on plus sign to expand it and there is a there is one attribute that is property background color double click on it and we specify one expression here so right here color mix one bracket sum of sales minus range minimum to subtract the minimum range it should calculate the above of above of sum of sales comma zero comma row number calculate the row number I want to calculate the below range below of sum of sales comma one comma number of rows minus row number so I specify the code here color mix one sum of sales minus range minimum then range we calculate the maximum range and subtract minimum range from it and we set the color white or light blue if it it's if it satisfies the condition it will display white very light blue color click on ok and apply and ok so you can see here this has been displayed in different colors so we have got the region wise sale here region wise total sale which represents in different colors so that's how we can display the chart by using range now let me explain you the expression here expression to display the colors so basically what I have done here this chart inter record function it looks at the value of expression around the color cell so for example here we use above sum of sales expression it will return what the value of sum of sales expression is in the cell at present immediately above the current cell so this is above this is below so it will extract the uh, sum of the sales immediately above the current one and there is one additional parameter to the above function this one the second parameter is the start position which is default to one the third parameter is the number of rows to return in similar way we have above and below so I just wanted to get the what is the range at the below one and what is the range at the above one <coughs> this is also default to one and return only one value if there is more than one row then we need to use a range function to handle the value so if it if it is returning more than one value so we use here range function 
by passing the value 0 as the start row and using the row number function as the number of rows the above function it returns all the values up to the current row here so on each row of the chart here we are using both above and below to pass the range of values through to the range mix and range minimum function range maximum and range minimum function so that's how we can use the range maximum and range minimum function above below and above and below how we can use it in charts as well so that's all in this tutorial if you have any queries you can get back to us www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel or you can get back to us for a customized training on clickview have a nice day ahead